guys. Good morning. It's Wednesday and chilly outside. Winter's just hanging on. But the sun, oops, I just flung some on my sweatpants. <laughs> the sun is shining, which I like. Yes, that, so that is that always a bonus. White, yellow stuff, that's sunshine. We don't see that that often this time of year. So <laughs> we're glad anytime it comes out. Oh my goodness. All right, I have to stop flinging paint. Hold on. Less paint. Less paint, I know. Less paint on the brush. So we've got a bunch of thrifted items that have been piling up in the garage. You know, every now and then we do this and we have to clean out. We have to, sometimes we just have to do a video on what we have to do that day. <laughs> Today is what we have to do. We have to clean out the garage. And actually um, in the shop, you guys might not know this. Um, if you're no, you, I can't even talk. We're both if still a little sick. Jamie gave me new. her cold. <laughs> yeah. I'm so nice, I shared. You've been getting sick since I've been getting sick. I think I just got sick faster. I've been Anyways, holding out. In the shop, um, in the basement, there's storage space. So what we're gonna do is we are going to finish all the projects in the garage and then put them in the storage space and then have them all tagged so that way as things sell, we can load stuff up and it's already there and it's not in our garage. Yep. So that's the plan. These are topiaries. What did I pay for these? Like two bucks? I think they were two or three dollars a piece. I can't remember, but not much for what they are and how big they are. Yeah, and the this part is really nice, but the base is kind of dated. So I'm painting these in little black dress. And then I'm going to stamp or stencil something on the front to make them look chic. And then the moss has kind of gone away. So I'm going to hot glue new moss and these will look brand new. We still, if you watched our dollar store slash thrift store hack, where we made the... Uh, so the, Can you guys tell the before and the after? So it's kind of like a dated terracotta. They tried to age it, and then now it's like a flat black. Yeah, we still have moss left over from that, from the Dollar Tree hack that we did. So we'll use those right. in that. So about 50 cents worth of moss to replace on the bottom here, and a stamp, and it'll look brand new. So I'm just washing this. This is a rag with some soapy water on it. It's not real soapy. It's mostly just wet. I, these have been in the garage for a week or so, and they got dusty because I'm building a coffee table in there right now. There might be. Oh, everything's dusty because before you built the coffee table, your dad blew up the garage. My dad built himself a wooden sink out of pecan for his tiny home he's building. He's not the cleanest man. While we were in Hawaii, and they were watching the kids, and he... He took it from raw lumber that he had milled himself, some pecan that he had milled, and it looks pretty cool. It we, looks cool, and he's like, oh, I'll clean up the garage, but I'm not sure he knows what. He cleaned it up, but he left the dust bomb yeah. all over. I'm not really <laughs> sure he knows what clean is, but he did, a, he did a pretty good job. We still love him, even if he's messy. He just can't do projects here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably say, well, then I can't watch your kids, and I'll be like, all right. All right, so these... I think I'm just gonna go white swan on these. We have we're all out of white candlesticks. We've got a bunch of brass and pewter stuff in the shop right now, but nothing wood because I the website's been busy and I haven't had time to make any candlesticks for the shop. So we're gonna put these in there and they're gonna go white. All right, just looking over comments here. Ooh, I accidentally Good morning, that. everyone. Stay warm. It looks like it's cold everywhere, even down in Anthem. It's cold in Anthem? Yep. What exactly is cold in I don't know. Chris says it's probably colder there. I think they got close to freezing. Oh, close to freezing. <laughs> oh, man. I, if, if I were to guess. Everybody keeps saying it's like a colder than normal winter. It seems pretty normal to me. In my humble opinion isn't normal so this is just the paint pixie synthetic brush that we carry and i've been using it the last few days on stuff and i like it because it washes out really easy the natural bristles hold more paint that we have on the paint pixie brushes but this cleans up really really well and quick the only thing i like about natural brushes i feel like you can treat them like if they get really bad you can oh yeah you can fix it Synthetic, once they get really bad, there's really nothing. Yeah, the natural brushes, if your brush starts to get real crusty. You can condition it, that's the word. You can, you can soak it in like downy or, or fabric softener and it'll come back to life. And we have a brush soap that we sell from Paint Pixie and it's a charcoal based soap. 
and it works really well on paint brushes. We use that a lot. So on all these smalls we have out on the table, we probably won't even use the full amount of a sample size. This was already painted. We've had this in the garage for quite a while. It was painted and then I didn't like it and then I repainted it and so that's where we're at with that one. But we're probably not even gonna use a, a sample of paint total on all of this. Yeah, it doesn't take much paint to paint smalls and it's a great way to use up like leftover paint. That's why like some of the paint, I swear we have these cans for months. They start looking pretty sad. Well, we keep them around because we're like, oh, there's there's like a quarter inch in the bottom of that. I could paint like eight candlesticks. Well, and you can always <laughs> take it and water it down and make a wash out of it or dry brush with it. It's like liquid gold. You don't want to waste it. Okay. Maddox, first time catching us live. Welcome. Last night we were live with our channel members. Um, giving some behind the scenes information about how to run a shop space or a booth or how to sell up markets. That was really fun. We were up a little late, so it's probably another reason we're tired. Then we came home and binge watched Amazon Prime TV. So there's that. We should have went to bed. We should have gone to bed. We got stuck watching It's hard watching to be bones. an adult and make all your own decisions. Like... Like, do I go to bed? Do I stay up and watch Bones? The kids had it easy. We're like, all right, 8.30, you go to bed. They pop up in the morning. They're well rested. <laughs> we have, we like have the opportunity to stay late, up late. No, we do. I gave Zeb NyQuil. He's a lightweight. I don't, uh, <laughs> you I don't, don't take I don't do then. well with cold medicine at all. But if you don't take it, you get sick forever. Although I know there's all natural remedies and I'm trying those too. I'm, I'm getting, I'm done all my T's, dotting all my T's, dotting all my I's and crossing all my T's. And I am resting every day. I mean, obviously I can't, you know, people are like, just take it easy and don't do anything. I didn't do anything for two days and I didn't feel any better. So Mary O'Connell just asked how to become a channel member. So in every video, there is a link in the description, every video after January, you can just click that link and no matter what device you're on, that link will take you to the, uh, the channel membership sign up. And it'll also tell you what you're going to get when you join the channel membership. Or you can email customer care at jamiereyvintage.com and get yeah. a link. Um, or I believe the join button, you'll see it says join. It's right by our subscribe. That's, that's where you click the join button. Yeah. Right? If you're on iOS devices, it's not there. So you have oh, to click the link. Okay. Yeah. And you cannot access community on iPads, which is how we communicate with our members. So you have to do that from a like a phone or a computer. Cell phone that has all the updates. You have to have all your updates. I'm notorious for not updating or a computer. All right. I don't know why I painted this black, but I just. Oh, thanks, Janet. Thanks for the plug. Appreciate that. All right, what color should I go with this? It's light underneath. So typically when we have smalls like these were dark wood, so I went with a light paint. This is light, so I'll probably go with something colored. Do you think that green would look good on here? Some, oh, somebody wanted that, but I don't think they ever bought it. So they never bought it? We, it never came through the channels? Yeah, well, we'll paint it, and if they don't like it, we'll paint it again if they really, really want it. I'm thinking this, though. No! Come on. All right, just the handles. Oh, you have apothecary. Don't paint that mint chip. That's for the. That's for this. Oh, she has plans for the colors. All right, apothecary it is. So that'll be enough contrast. Uh, what do you think about like a blue, like a like a darker blue? I'm trying to get some good contrast on there. I don't really love the you, darker blue on there. I'd have to have like a design. It is kind of yellowy, so I'm not gonna go blue. Where's the Where's the kitchen screwdriver at? Oh, the. This? Close that drawer. <laughs> all right, this is done. I'm getting black all over everything. All right, so this is good. We get asked about these a lot. We just paint the handles. We do not paint the base unless we want it to just be decorative. So I'm going to paint the handles and then we'll let that dry and we'll show you how we seal them with food safe oil. And the, the paint is not considered food safe, so don't eat anything on the handles. Most people just use them for decor. So you'll notice I'm not taping this little mirror off. We just razor blade it afterwards. It's really quick. You gotta usually wash it anyway. There's always some little piece the tape missed. 
that you got to clean off anyway. So we just, we don't Does bother. Does that with... one not screw off though? Because if it screwed nope. off, that would have been, oh, it's, okay. It's sealed up in the back. So I can't screw the top off with that, or the, I can't get the mirror off without kind of ruining the back of this. So I'm just going to paint it here. I've got to wash my hands because that black paint is really pigmented. Let me get my candlesticks out of the way so you guys can at least watch what I'm doing. The black paint's really pigmented. So if I don't wash my hands, I get black everywhere, black and red. So this is, this is an old like tin, metal tin. tin. I, I call it a bean tin, like it probably have pinto beans in it. Beans or weed or corn, dry storage. And we're going to, I'm going to be doing some stenciling on this in just a little bit and show you guys what we do with that. Basically we would make decor that somebody would like stick on top of a cabinet or um it's Kitchen functional. Cabinets. You could put some stuff in there. You could probably put some beans in there. Throw your flour up in that. It's metal, so it's it's good for like stuff like flour and things. I'm sorry you guys have to keep hearing me sniffle my nose. <laughs> Better than hearing I feel me like it's been a whole week now, hasn't it been? Wasn't Saturday, it? Saturday is a week. Saturday will be a week. I'm totally over that's it. That's a it's a that's a bad cold. The boys had strep and they're they're doing great. They got their meds Strap and they're is doing easy great. To get rid of because you just take your antibiotic. The cold's a virus; well, it just sticks around. Our son had a pretty bad cold and he was wrestling, so we sent him to the doctor, and our, our son Harrington. You and know, butter knife. Yeah, and he, they they didn't even give him anything. They're like, drink lots. Take if you get a fever, take some ibuprofen yeah. or a Tylenol. <laughs> the, this fairy chalk mother has been sitting for a hot minute. Yeah, it's been there since last summer. Shake it up. Well, the DIY never separates, but the fairy chalk mother is a different base. So yeah, if you've had it for a while, shake it up. If you leave it outside in cold temperatures or in extreme heat, it can get chunky. Just add water and use an immersion blender and you can usually save it. So, you should store your paint inside the house. So I wanted to show you, I'm using the French round there you go. and this makes all this detail so easy because there's so much of it. These little flowers, this little flower detail on here is pretty deep. And it's just going right down in there and getting in all the cracks. And that is exactly what this brush is designed to do. I'll probably need two coats, but it'll go on pretty quick and easy second time top? around. Nope, not a flat top. Oh, yeah. You're using a newer one. This is before they... Actually... This is the smaller one. There's two oh, sizes. Yeah. This is the big one, but this is a plastic handle. They now have wood handles. This is like... That just shows you how long your brush will last when you get it. That brush has been so heavily used. And I mean, you guys see us use it on camera, but off camera, it's doing work. Yeah, I like, I like the French round. So I'm just painting this. This is Merm Emerald by Fairy Chalk Mother. It's, it, this shade of green is making a comeback all over farmhouse decor. And oddly enough, like persimmon orange is coming back too. But I'm just going to paint this. It'll take two coats. And then when it's dry, I'll distress it. And then I will give this base of the um, rolling pin a light sand just to kind of smooth it out. And then the whole thing will get sa sealed with food safe oil. Like a butcher block oil will work really well. It's food safe. And uh, then it'll go in the shop. And we seal the paint with it too. It works. I always tell people when they buy them from the shop, like you can't throw these in the dishwasher. You shouldn't throw any of your wooden stuff in the dishwasher anyways, but it's hand wash only. It's fine. All right. So I'm going to tackle this little mirror next. It's all crusty, but this has some metal tabs on the back so I can just pull this mirror out. We don't have to mess around with scraping paint or anything like that. And there it is. You tape off your rolling pin. I never do. What color, what color do you think on this? This is dark, so I'm probably going to go white with it again and bring that dark back through. Um, yeah, that's cool. I say that's all right by me. <laughs> it gets Jamie's vote. I don't, you know, when I don't feel good, I'm like, yeah, whatever. But then later I'll have an opinion once the cold medicine wears off. My favorite cold medicine is Dayquil and NyQuil, the severe. It's the best. I'm not sure that it actually makes you healthier. It just makes you, it makes me able to actually function with a cold instead of just wanting to be in bed all day. 
It's probably worse for you because then you work when you shouldn't, but... Patrice uh, Swigert, hope I said your name right, asks what paint is best for painting kitchen cabinets. So our kitchen cabinets here, we have a full tutorial video on that. And if you want, just look up Jamie Ray Vintage Kitchen Cabinets and that'll bring that up. There's a whole playlist, but there's one specific video on all of it too that breaks everything down. And we used DIY White Swan that I'm using right now on our kitchen cabinets. And that's been over a year ago and they're very scrubbable, wipeable. They're holding up really, really well. I'm gonna do two in this Merm Emerald, it's really pretty. Zeb wants to paint everything this color green. I love green, especially like deep forest greens. This is not like your mom's 1995 forest green though. This is a brighter color. I feel like it's a really organic looking green. It's very similar to uh, Basil by Sweet Pickens. Basil's a little bit darker. And I do plan on using some Sweet Pickens Milk paint and Basil here pretty soon once I find the right piece. because I wanna incorporate this color into my space. White, black, and this color green are very pretty in farmhouse decor, mixed with some lighter non-yellow wood tones. I like them. I like that look a lot. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, like I said, if you're really a messy painter, which I kind of am, but I'm good at this, I've done it enough, you can put tape around the end of your rolling pin and that will keep it from getting the paint on there. I just oh. like to push it up so I have a little bit of a ledge. That's the wrong can. That's Hang on, I gotta wash. Are you gonna do a blended paint finish? No, I'm not. <laughs> Was that not your plan? No. I dipped it in the wrong can. <laughs> so when I'm painting something like this where I don't need a lot of paint, I like to use, I, you guys probably can't even see, but I'm using the paint lid. So this is how little paint it takes to do a project like this. I'm just using the lid after I shook it up and dabbing the paint off of there. That way I'm not getting too much paint so where it's not dripping off of my brush, which I'm notorious for drippage. Paint dripping is real in my life. Zeb has paint dripping all over our kitchen floor. He's got to scrub the floor. I have to mop the floor. I painted in here. I wasn't feeling well after our live video last night, but I had to get some stuff painted for that coffee table. You should never paint with a cold. And the garage was really dusty. It was warm because I had the heater going, but it was dusty. So I just painted right here in the kitchen. I, I was like cleaning up this morning and I'm like, man, the kitchen floor is really um, dirty. So I went to sweep it and I was like, it's not coming off. I'm like, oh, that's paint. It's all right, a little magic eraser to take out. Unfortunately, it's milk paint, which milk paint is the hardest to get off. So, okay, those are painted. I'll do this one a different color. Maybe I'll do this one black, black one. Like. So Deanna Goodson, we just had a shop kind of update video on Monday that we put out, if you want to catch yeah. that. Check that out. You can see the shop. You may have seen it. I don't know. It didn't um, say if you'd seen it or not, but we you can have also one. go on Facebook. I just did a live tour yesterday in the shop showing off all the updates that we did on Monday. So definitely check that out. You can see how we set it up. We needed to spring clean it. So we got all cleaned and reorganized and put like items together. Because what happens is stuff sells. We just move stuff around, throw stuff in there where we can. And then all of a sudden you don't have like items together. You don't have a theme anymore. It's a little messy. They're asking again what color that green is. Oh, so that green is Merm, like mermaid. Merm Emerald by Fairy Talk Mother. A similar shade, if you're wanting milk paint, would be basil. And I actually don't think Fairy Talk Mother has any green even close to that. Or not Fairy Talk Mother, DIY doesn't have a green close to that. So Merm Emerald by Fairy Talk Mother. Or you could get basil if you wanted a deeper, darker, in the same color family by Sweet Pickens. And it covers pretty good. And it's a really pretty farmhouse, not forest, green. <laughs> Alright. So, Mukwa said that people are asking where to get the paint. You can get it at jamierayvintage.com. We were located in, in Utah, in the United States, but we ship worldwide. Yeah, it's so a if you're, spendy, but we will ship anywhere. We've shipped to Kuwait. Yeah, if your country will allow you to get it, we Egypt. can ship it. Yeah, um, and our uh, shipping fees do include any customs. They have a customs amount there, so unless it's like a huge overage or your country changes laws last minute, 
you won't have to pay for customs. It'll just come to you. We ship to the UK a lot, a lot to Canada. We can't ship DIY paint to Canada, but we can ship everything else. And then we ship everything else internationally that we sell on our website, except for like a large coffee table. We don't ship that. But all of our paint products you can get worldwide. The nice thing about the black, single coat coverage, done. Like, I will not need two coats with this black. All right, I'm setting the comments aside for a sec while I do some stenciling. I'll look again in a minute. This this thing needs cleaned up. We're probably gonna have to hit it with some sandpaper. Oh, you got paint on the side, yeah. It's been well, it's fine. It's we'll been hit it with sandpaper and a magic eraser. It'll be good. So I've got some of our Jamie Ray vintage stencils here, and I'm thinking I'm gonna just go hog wild with this color. I like to do that sometimes. I like to uh, hold on. I don't want to get black paint on it. I like to use one color on multiple things. That way when I put them in the shop, I can group them together. So this is going to my memory too. All right. So I think... This was a dollar originally. Well. Yeah, if you guys watch our thrift hauls, you probably know more than we do about what we paid for. We can't, now. we don't always remember right off the bat what we paid. We got to reference back. I'm going to bring the camera around so you guys can see what I'm doing right here with this stencil. So I've just got, let's see, is this little black dress? Little black dress, and I've offloaded over here. You've been watching me kind of load up this tray. You can see I've got it all spread out and thinned out so that I don't have tons of stuff. And I'm just gonna freehand this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tape it down. And this is one of our corner stencils. It's designed for- I told you to put a number on that. I am putting a number in the middle after I'm done with this. Oh, well, I don't want flowers on that. It's all right, you're too late now, I'm showing them. It's gonna be great. Jamie's okay. super skeptical. I'm not skeptical. <laughs> I, 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 broke, I broke rank and didn't get her okay on it. Oh, hush up. <laughs> like, you never do what you want. The thing is, when you start going rogue stamp thing, then that just means I have to repaint it before I put it in the shop. I like to stamp There's and stencil. There's a bunch stencil. of stenciled stuff that's sitting in the hallway of the shop that I refuse to put in my space. So it, it, didn't, it didn't make the photo shoot. It didn't make the cut. <laughs> that's all right. This is going to be cool. Okay. I'm going to like it. Everybody's going to like it because everybody likes you. So. I don't know about you're that. The, you're the... I don't know about that. You're the... I don't know. I'm, like, if we were Chip and Joanna, I think I would be the annoying Chip, and you're, like, the Joanna. Although, Joe pulls rank when it comes to design, too. She doesn't always let Chip <laughs> yeah, What What's his title? Like, the, uh, assi the, the design, design assistant. assistant's assistant? Yeah, the design assistant's assistant. It's not that that one person has better design than the other. It's that it sometimes is difficult to blend two idea like, design styles. So it's easier if you just have one person that makes the decision so that way it mushes together. You should tell the story about our wedding invitations. Oh man, so Jamie was gone. She was a camp director or something for or other. Girls like, camp for a, for a camp. girls camp, for a youth girls summer camp. And we were, we'd were we been engaged for about three weeks. We had to get our wedding invitation. And so she was gone and her mom and I went to this place and picked out and Jamie had told us she's like I want I want them to be pink I and I also gave you like very specific like I want floral with a vellum overlay and I want it to be simple nothing gaudy <laughs> so I'm sitting there picking them out with her mom and her mom likes peach colors well not it's not even the peach that it was the embossed <laughs> roses like <laughs> My Your mom grandma. also loves roses, so I'm sitting there with my mother-in-law to be, and I'm like, I don't think Jamie's gonna like that. And her mom is just like, Yeah, we gotta have this. I'm like, oh, All right, you're paying for them, so because her mom was buying the invitations for us, and I was like, Okay, sounds good. Let's do this. And we get home, or Jamie gets home from camp, and those those invitations arrive. I think it was like 300 of them or something. 400. 400, and she didn't like them at all like started crying hated them i was, uh, <laughs> I was 18. the thing that really got me i think we've come a long way is zeb said i knew you wouldn't like him but i didn't want to tell i didn't want to argue with your mom so we just got him i'm like you we had already been to the invitation store and i had shown him 
exactly what I wanted. We just hadn't like picked them out. So I just thought I was sending you to pick out the ones that I already showed you. I had no idea you were going to go rogue. And I said, don't pay for lined envelopes. It's a waste of money. And not only did they pay for lined envelopes, they weren't pink. They were peach. They looked like an old lady's like 85 year old lady's birthday party invitations. And they were like embossed roses. They were so bad. <laughs> and my dad was like, you really hate them. We'll get new ones. So we wound up getting new ones. The new ones that I picked out were half the price. I didn't want anything expensive. That was Jamie's one bridezilla moment. My one bridezilla moment. I just wanted something simple. At the time, my thought was, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to get this invitation that won't come to the wedding, and they're going to think that that's my style. <laughs> and I don't want people to think that. <laughs> so that, that was it. Now, in hindsight, I probably just should have sent them out. Actually, probably if I had to do it over again, I would have been like, we don't need to have a reception. Let's just alone. Yeah, we would have just ran away. <laughs> but, you know, when you're 18 and young and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, that's our story about wedding invitations. I did take the envelopes and I reused them to send thank you cards. Oh, I got white paint on there. I'm not loving the screen. On this. I'm loving this. All right, guys. They're, everybody's going to love it. It's amazing. I feel like that's a win right there. Let's what do you see. think? Do you think it'd be weird if I stenciled a letter in here? Let me let me see. Her face says no. <laughs> it's like very, very uh like primitive looking. I mean that's pretty. Well when I distress it all, I think it's gonna be great. Well the problem is you painted it with DIY paint. You can't distress that. You will get black all over that white because you didn't seal it first. So you can't distress the stencil. Like that is what it is. You can distress the white maybe. Yeah, I'll just stress it all down. We'll see. You know what? I have a spray gun and about two minutes of spraying this. No, and it'll I think all it'll be, be okay, but are you going to just do it on just that side? I wouldn't put a number in the middle. Yeah, I'm just doing that side. I'm going to look at comments and see what the consensus is I'm from the community. I'm probably going to get grief about my, my card situation. I might not should have shared that story. It's but fine. It's, it's a funny story. and you're it's allowed. True. You're totally allowed to have an opinion on things. I'm I guess that means then in return, you are also allowed to have an opinion. No, not in that situation. Dudes could really care less Some about a wedding. Dudes. No. You, you didn't care, so really. You I was just like, been like, I, yeah. And it's not like you were care. afraid of my mom. We've been dating for two years. You knew my mother. No, your mom so. and I are really close. Yeah, in fact, I think she likes you more than she likes me. I don't know about that. She never takes me out to lunch. That's true. That's true. She's always telling me, you should be nice to them. Karen and her daddy, Chip is not annoying. <laughs> Chip is not annoying? Oh, yeah, he is. He, I, I love Chip. I love his Just character. Just watch the blooper episode. But we, we recently watched their blooper episode, and like they showed all the behind the scenes. I was like, and Jordan. after filming tons and tons of footage for our YouTube comment, I can only imagine Content. how many how many retakes they've had to do because of his shenanigans. And after a while, if I were on the other end of that, it would get really old Well, really judging by what Joanna's <laughs> face says, yeah. Zebba doesn't like it when I mess around at all. When we're filming, I wish that we had a film crew to film behind the scenes when we're filming. I get a lot of a, just say it and let's move on. So that way we could get to the next thing, especially when Zeb is I'm like... I'm all business. Well, it's also because <laughs> Zeb has to edit the video. So he's like, we're going to film all day and then I'm going to edit all night. So I totally get that. Claudette asks, which brush picks up paint better, better synthetic or natural? I think natural holds more. Natural bristles. Uh, like if you're going to do a blended finish or you want to paint something and just dip your brush once and paint the whole side of it, the natural brush is going to win on that every time and it holds so much paint. That's why they're more difficult to wash because they hold a lot of paint. So. This would have been easier to spray, I think. But. And when I say more difficult, it's not hard to wash them. It just takes a little longer to get all the <laughs> paint out of the bristles. We're just going to move this over here. Oh, I like your move. I like your move method. Yeah, that's my move technique. It's, I've patented that. You just take the brush and you stick you it in it the item the and then you move it over. All right, what's the little pig going? Um, let's go white with that because then we can stage it with the candlesticks kind of in a trio. I think I'm over this. Phase. Everybody's saying no letter, just leave it as is. So yeah, all right. I think less is more in that case. I think I think you're right. We'll distress it and keep an eye out on community. We'll take a picture of all this stuff 
And if you guys aren't following us on Instagram or Facebook, those are also good places to see staged pictures and photos of all the stuff that we do and the stuff we got going throughout the day. Well, my black paint is drying, so they'll get to see um, so what I'm gonna do to these topiaries and to that sign that I painted black. Oh, I'm washing the green off my hands, sorry guys. <laughs> Tom yeah. Fisher, our grandson tells us we were like Chip and Joanna, only really old. <laughs> only really old. Our uh, kids think we're old, our teenager tells we're old and I'm only 37. <laughs> You're not even 37. You're 36. I'm not 37? You're oh, you're 30. 37. I'm going to be 37. Look at that. Sure. She's adding a year on her, onto herself. I don't herself. care how old I am. Like, <laughs> I was born in 1982. Whatever that is, that's how old I am. Imogen Ince asks, Jamie, I have a child's rocking chair to paint in the same style as that one. Wondering how to revive the seat. Paint would wear away with frequent use. No? Um, seal it. Uh, yeah, if you seal it, it it's going to wear the same as anything else would. And one of the things you can do is instead of painting the seat solid, you can take and dry brush the seat. So tape off the tape off the part where it's all the rattan or whatever that's called. Tape that off. Paint the chair whatever color you want. Then come back over the top of the the is it rattan? Whatever's on the seat. <laughs> <laughs> and dry brush it a bunch of different colors and give it a weathered look. It's really pretty and um, I think you'll like it. And then just seal the whole thing. And if it wears a little bit because it's dry brushed, you won't notice it as much. So maybe that'll help. My eyelashes are sticking. My Elena, eyelash lady's out of town, so my eyelashes are not on point. Elena Klug, is there a pattern for the pig cutting board? Are you talking about the one that we have on our website? We don't, we don't have a pattern for it. I just... I just have like literally a paper cutout outside in the garage that I trace and then I cut it out. Yeah, we don't, we could make a pattern. I mean, I guess that's a pattern, but if you're asking if we have one that we sell, we don't. Well, we could put one for a channel member who started doing patterns. We probably should. Yeah, that would be cool. Where's the box? Here's the box. All right, I'll be right. Grabbing you, the you, box of stencils. I'm, yeah, I'm stamped. I think I'm gonna stamp the, stamp the things. All right, you talk to, talk, talk to the people. They're saying that we're all really young. Yeah, we got married really young, and, uh, and it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. We'll be married 18 years in August now, coming up, and we've been together since we were junior, seniors in high school. It's getting so long ago, I can't hardly say it right anymore. Hey, wow. welcome new member, Sherry Shabby Shack. All right, so I think I'm going to use this bird, Zeb. Heavy comer. I need a fish on a stick. I only have a pig on a stick. We have a fish uh, coffee table bowl and pewter at the shop. Yeah, there is. I haven't put it out yet, but if you wanted, was it a couple weeks ago on the live video? I don't think it was last week. Oh, you got a mat out. Could you pour me a little bit of white so I can bray this? I'm just. So I'm dipping. using this bird. It's from our birds, branches, and blossom stencil. The stamp. Sorry, stamp. I can't even talk. And you can get this at jamierayvintage.com. It's an IOD stamp. It's just like a flexible, and I'm gonna freestyle it, which I'm not sure that's the best idea right now, but it's what I got. We're freestyling everything. I'm using a brayer, because I'm gonna, instead of using ink on my stamp, I'm gonna use paint. I like to use paint if I don't want a very precise uh, impression. And this is kind of a loose stamp, so I feel like it'll work good. It's not like a real tight, detailed stamp so so i'm just gonna rub the paint on here and ugh, this mat is just disgusting what mat this whole this oh cloth. yeah we're due for some new drop cloths i think we talked about that three weeks ago how we were i am not drop i'm not putting that on here so i'm gonna take this bird and i'm I don't think they can see what you're doing they can i'm rolling the paint on the bird i mean it's kind of you have to work kind of fast because the paint does dry pretty quick so I just want to make sure it's nice and even. We got paint all over it. I'm not the best stamper, disclaimer. Zep's much neater than I am it's on the edges. Okay, so, oops, that's not good. I don't want that all over. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take this bird and set it on here, hopefully. Um, I think the chickens are at the back door. Did you hear <laughs> Julie that? Julie Shanklin said, my husband and I have been married 37 years and he's still alive. <laughs> Zeb and I actually do love each other a lot. We have so much fun. In fact, I was telling him last night, I'm like, 
I don't think everybody has as much fun together as we do all day long. There. Oh, that looks bad. What? I did didn't put that on there very good. You didn't stamp. Did you? You're, you're free. Do you need me to come stamp it? I don't know. So our chickens, it's 22 degrees outside. Oh, no one's on camera. Hang on. Sorry, I'm wiping that off. I don't like it. Oh, I had you on this. I thought you were stamping that. No. She's wiped. She was stamping that. Gotcha. All right. So no one was, no one was watching anything. Nobody was watching anything. Well, sorry guys. I'm just going to repaint that because I don't like the way that came out. So, I know better. I shouldn't stamp when I don't feel good. So our, here, I'm going to show you guys because it's fun. Our chickens are outside and they're super fluffy and warm. It's like, let's see. I don't know. Can you guys even see them? It's 22 degrees outside right now and a little windy. And they are just happy as clams. They come up here and peck on the glass window because they want treats. They might be thirsty. Their water could be frozen. Yeah, their water might be frozen. I'll just check that afterwards. Right. But Jamie, Jamie feeds those birds whatever they want when they get them all cute and peck at the window. She I don't know them, what you're talking about. She gives them all kinds of treats. <laughs> I'm going to give them some warm water right now. And then I'll give them some cookies. They like cookies and donuts. <laughs> Tally Stevens <laughs> says, we're lucky we work well together. She's fired her husband many times. Ugh. Oh, Jamie took care of the water now. They're, they were just thirsty. Oh, yeah. The water's frozen. I'll have to go. a few cookies. I'll have to go break that open in a little bit. But our chickens aren't shy. If they need something, they come let us know. They're like, hey, guys, you're sucking at life. Our water's frozen. No, they're not drinking the water. They probably want to Oh, they're not drinking it? No. Oh, he did want the cookie. Jamie just oh, gave him a cookie. Chickens is ready for It's like cookie. it's like Hunger Games for the one cookie. I put out three cookies. We have four chickens, so they're gonna need another one. But one of the chickens ran off with the cookie, and it's like really good entertainment. If you want good entertainment, just throw one cookie out and watch them fight over it. <laughs> they all get some eventually. So this pig was a little shinier. It's gonna need two coats of paint. The paint will stick just fine. But when you have something that, that's shiny like this, usually your first coat of paint is more of a tack coat, and the second coat's where you get your coverage. Yeah. And tack coat meaning like you just get it on there and, and it'll stick and you give the second coat something to hang on to. Alright, I'm not I'm not doing a bird on that anymore. What am I gonna do on this? Do you think you could do a number on here for me? Yeah, I can do a number on that? No. On what? On that. Oh, on the Yeah, let me on the pots? Me. Yeah, I'll do a number on the pots for you. You're so much better at it than I am. Oh, welcome new member, Heather Sawaya. Hopefully I said that right. Oh, I know Heather. Jamie says she knows you. We talk on, on the Facebook. Talk on the Facebook. Alright, here's the here's the number stamp. Should we do one and two on these, or four and five? I like five and seven. Well, maybe five and three. There we go. Let's put a number on there. No, is that weird to just do like random numbers, or should we just number them one, two? Is that what I'm asking you? Um, I would just do one and two. All right. You can actually stamp on the side that's dry. It would hurt my brain a little if you did like. Like a, a six and a three or you. something like that. Alright. Uh stenciling just isn't happening for me today. Or stamping. Maybe stamping. I'll I'll stamp here in a minute. I gotta be in the mood to stamp. Uh, Jimmy's gotta I can't be. be all shaky from cold medicine. That usually doesn't. Oh, we got another new member. Welcome, Sarah Beth Medeiros. Sorry, I'm sure I didn't say that one right. So Deanna Goodson Fortner asks if uh, if we can stencil or stamp eggs for Easter. I'm sure you can, and I would if if you're worried about it, you can get food safe like for like paints and things. Uh, a lot of craft stores sell them for like decorating cakes and stuff like that. Probably would work. You just have to test it out. I haven't ever messed with it, but I'm sure that would work. Yeah, I think it would. 
Linda Gilbert, I received my Barnwood stamps. I'm considering using them on an accent wall in master bedroom. I also bought the weathered paint for the stamp color. That would be cool. Now, if Careful you're going to get to the corners, yeah, if you're going to use it on like on like on a whole wall as an accent wall, uh, lay it out first. Don't uh, like a smaller project. It's not a big deal if you mess up a line or whatever, but do the layout first and then and then Just put the, the stamps on. Like the lines where you you're gonna use chalk stop. lines, maybe. Yeah, you could even use chalk. Jamie said use chalk lines. Do new members get the old printables? So we are leaving the printables up two months at a time. The chapter will be available all year long, so that you guys know where we're at in the book. Because otherwise, the book won't make but sense. But the printables are only available for two months at a time. So January's printable will no longer be available at the end of February. So if you want that one, you need to get in on it. We're doing that because someone could potentially pay five bucks in December and get all the printables otherwise, and that's just yeah. not fair. And you can print it, like they're PDFs, so if you're a member, say if you haven't done your 100 copies that you have access to, um, just go ahead and save it to your desktop and then you can have it indefinitely. Yeah, you guys, I mean, you can do 100 copies, so we don't care if you save it or whatever, or, or if it's on a file on your computer, that's totally fine. So if you guys have seen the barn printable that we did and you want it, you better join before the end of the month and get that sucker downloaded. So Trish asks, um, how do we find the book? I'll put another post in community with the book chapters so that you can find those easy. They're in the community. There's posts for them, but they're probably a ways back now. Yeah. Now, did you tell them the stencil you used is a JRV stencil? Yes. This stencil is one of our Jamie Ray vintage stencils that you can get on our website at jamierayvintage.com. It's the corner set and it comes with different corners and they're actually made to use on dressers because I think they would be really pretty stand stenciled on dressers or if you guys have seen our raised stencil technique you can do that. Welcome Brie Tet, another new member. Yay, we love new friends. I'll have Caitlin put on, sure. so where if you're a new member and you need access to the members only stuff, go to the community page and as a member, you'll see also the members only. And Zeb, can you use my phone and show them how to find community? Yeah, I will. Where's your phone at? It's charging the... I'm going to... You, you talk to them about what you're doing okay. there. So I've painted this black. It's a fat, flat black and it looks a lot like a chalkboard. And so I'm using the DIY paint because when I distress the DIY paint, it's going to make it powder, kind of like a chalk wood. And then I'll seal it and it'll look like a faux chalkboard. This stencil here says walk humbly. And this is an essential stencil. You can pick them up at essentialstencil.com. Use um, the code Jamie Ray Vintage, and I think you save like 10 or 20% with that. I think it's 10%. 10%. And I'm just using the little C stencil brush. And I so hopefully I don't have bleed through. But. Sorry, it's loud. It's metal. So I'm going to do two coats. You want to basically be dry so you don't get bleed through. And I didn't really do that on the top. So this was that a while back. It was probably, it was before we went to Hawaii, I think. And it was for yeah. what it'll sell for 20 bucks. And I just put a cute little. And are you going to distress some of this detail yeah, back? Yeah, so probably, here, put that down. I was going to. Going to wet to, distress that? No, I was etching that actually in white. I think that would look fine. All right, let me show you guys. So, so here's our home page on YouTube on the app, right? So you've got home, videos, playlist, community. You click on that and then, so like, let's see here. We announced our live video that we did for members and it's got this fun little to it. It's for members only. So all the posts 
posts are in back. The posts, there's the printable post. Um, it's and not doesn't want to scroll back very far, but if you if you put it on if you're on Wi-Fi, it'll scroll all the way back to your computer. Here's that's uh, January's printable there. Hold on. There's my hand. Are we back? Are we back? Okay. If that was fuzzy, I'll show you guys all again. Again. <laughs> Sorry if that was fuzzy. All right, real quick. So, homepage on YouTube, my channel. Okay, you would go to our channel, Jamie Ray Vintage. And then you've got home, videos, playlist, community. And then you just can scroll through here. And this is where we put all the links. Some posts are for members only. So, like this one here, this post, you can see the little members only symbol right there. Only members can see that. And... That was just letting everybody know when we were going to be live last night for the members video. And you could just scroll through. You need to be on Wi-Fi. And you can scroll back a long ways. If you're not on Wi-Fi, you can't scroll back as far. All right, so I'm just kind of framing this out with white paint. So here. while you were gone and we were having technical issues, Jamie's dry brushing this kind of where the detail is. Yep, I'm just dry brushing it, kind of framing it out, making it a little bit of a mess, but I like it. Otherwise, the detail doesn't really pop. And don't worry, I, I got a little where I didn't want it. I will get that off here. So I have most of the paint off of my brush. Just bringing out the detail here. Now I'm going to come the other way, kind of cross hatch it. Is that what it's called when you go the other way? Sure. Yeah, we're going to go we'll both go, ways. We'll go with that. Yeah. I'm going to get some detail on this. Go all around the edge. And now I'm going to come back woo, and throw the lid. And I'm going to touch up like where I got white that I didn't want it, like right here. Now, when this is dry, I'll wet distress it. That'll blur the lines a little bit, but it'll look mostly like that. So this will go away real quick and easy. Like once that's dry, that'll match no problem. Yeah, it's just because it's wet. All right. All right. Did you want to oh, show them stamping the topiers? Let me see if I can get a good stamp going. What, do you just want numbers on there? You got the one and the two out? Yes, I have them out for you. I need. I think we need to. Okay, let's clear some stuff off. Hold on, let me move this. We got. We got. Um, we've been crafting like crazy. We got a big old mess over here. I know. We'll set this on top of the screen can to dry. Okay, so I've got. This is from the typeset stamp set, the IOD typeset. And you get, it's a two, you get numbers and letters and the full alphabet in caps and lowercase. Looks, looks like this. There we go. That's not backwards. Okay. So it looks like that there. And I'm just going to freehand these, just a little dab of paint. Like, like a thousand times more than you need, so I'm gonna borrow some. Yeah, it's well, it dries quick on this brayer, so I wanted to really spread it out and get a lot of paint on there. So you could put these on a backer, but since I'm only doing one on each, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat it. And when we're all done, before we leave in a few minutes, we will show you what all the projects that we've worked on so far, where they're at, and then we'll post in community and on Instagram and Facebook, we'll show the completed projects. Okay. If we complete them, sometimes we don't actually finish them. <laughs> I think that tin that you stenciled uh, has been worked on quite a few times. 
Yeah, we've had that around for a minute. It's been around a hot minute. I should have put this on a backer. This is not easy on this uneven surface. Oh, uh, maybe that was my problem. Going freestyle. Well, if it doesn't turn out, do the other one. No, I won. There you go, number one. And anywhere that's messed up, we can retouch it up with black paint. So we got number one. Really, we're just taking something that's a little bit dated and giving it a little bit of a modern farmhouse vibe. And if that's not your style, like you can totally change things up. A lot of the stamps that we sell are boho or French country or very like ornate. So you really can create anything you want by changing up the colors or the parts of the stamp you're using and how you're using them. Yeah. But you don't have to spend a ton of money to decorate your house. You just have to have like the basic supplies and then find the products thrifting. This is a good time of year if you live somewhere where it's cold to work on smaller decor items because you don't necessarily want to be outside painting. Yeah, if you don't have a garage space or a shop with I have a garage, heated, I have no space in it. <laughs> yeah, that's the trouble. <laughs> so if you're woodworking, I can't paint. So the paint does a couple of things for this. It's going to not make it quite as crisp, which we want, that's on purpose. But these stamps already have some wear and age in them. That's part of the design. So even if you're using ink, you would get some detail like it had Probably been Probably get worn. more detail because the ink makes it more detailed. If you wanted a similar look but you want to use the ink, just use our erasable ink but then seal it and then it's no longer erasable. We have a white ink that we sell. So All right. perfect for that. All right. I've got second coat on these candlesticks. Awesome. Okay, we're going to show you what we've done so far, hopefully. It's very difficult when things are They're wet. wet to move them, but that's okay. The good news is if I touch it, I can just touch, I can fix it. All right. So that tin, it's going to need some distressing, some, some special distressing there. Then we've got this mirror here. I'm going to wait to put the mirror back in it until I seal it. Let me show you guys up close. It's not really picking up the detail very much. Oh, I can show them how I'm going to wet this dress. This, this is dry. So, I'm going to take this. Okay, then this the mirror. This is the tin sign that we worked on. And I'm just going to take this damp cloth here and just kind of. Hey, there you are. Distress over the top of this and bring out some of the detail. We didn't get to this one. It's just a frame. This is an eight by 10 frame we picked up. We put one of our printables in it in a live video a few days, I think that was last Saturday. Yep, anytime that you can find a wood frame that's eight by 10, especially if you're using our printables, pick it up because it'll be much cheaper thrifted than buying new. So I'm just taking a damp cloth and just dressing back some of that original color and blurring some of my lines here in my framed out portion. And I'm gonna wait a little bit to do the center, but when the center's all dry, I'll use a sanding block and distress that and make it look kind of like a chalkboard. And these are the rolling pins that Jamie did. This is Merm Emerald in that green color. And then the black one is Little Black Red Dress in DIY, Little Black Dress in DIY paint. The Merm Emerald is Fairy Chalk Mother. Yeah. You can pick that up in Fairy Chalk Mother or you could try Basil as another one we're gonna be using in that same green family here. Basil, yeah, that should by. be cool. Uh, sweet pickings. Okay. And, and last but not least, the rocker in Merm Emerald. It's going to need another coat. I'm making a big old mess here, but I like it. I like it. I like the mess. Okay. Ta da! So imagine that looking a little bit more like a chalkboard, but here are all of the things we've painted while we were talking in about an hour. So you don't have to spend a ton of time. We're almost done with all of them. Um, this will get sealed with a spray top coat just because it's easier on signs to spray them. But probably everything else will get waxed and then we'll be good to go. And we'll put them in the shop or we'll wait till a few things sell and stock it up. Be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com for the products that we use today. We'll drop a link for this particular stencil. It's the only one we don't carry. But if you want these JRV stencils or the stamps, we'll drop those links. The cool things about the stamps is the letter and number stamps. You can use them 
like all the time. They're something you're always going to be grabbing for. Yeah. So real quick, if you're going, so in those posts, there is a password for the link. You need to use that password that's in the post so that you can access it, so that you can access that link. So keep, keep an eye on that. If you have trouble, email customer care, Jamie Ray Vintage. We'll just email you right back and we you can get that. These. I showed them. Okay. Um, we didn't finish these, but all these need is a distress, um, and then we'll lightly sand the base with 220 on these rolling pins, then they'll get some butcher block oil and they'll be good to go. Also, welcome Lisa Smith. Snuck in there at the last minute while I was stamping, I think. You can join any time, even when we're not live. Yeah, you don't have to, we don't have to be live for you, you to join. All right, we love you guys. We'll have a, a couple more edited videos up this week, and then we'll be live again Saturday night. Yeah, we also have a fun collaboration coming up that we're working on with the IOD sisters, so keep an eye for that. That'll be in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. And I don't have the event page up, but we will be in Anthem, Arizona next month, I believe, Saturday the 16th. If my brain is working correctly. We'll get you more details on that on Saturday Night's Live, and we'll let you know what we'll be doing there and how you can.